Hey guys, what's happening? So, thought I'd show you how to copy and over an image file to a, either an SSD drive or an M2 drive. Um, typically, you'll get like an image file when uh, it's usually like a bootable USB, like a bootable <coughs> version of Linux, like a tiny bootable version of Linux. And most of these image writing programs only will write to a USB stick. And the problem with the USB sticks is they're not really good for production. I mean, they can work, but it's not... They're not good for reading and writing a lot, especially when you need actual performance. So that's why I always prefer to use like a either some sort of like permanent like hard drive, SSD or M2 or I mean I don't really use the old hard drives anymore, the platter-based hard drives. But so I use a couple different programs. One is Balin Etcher, but typically Balin Etcher won't look at a serially ATA connected uh, device. You know it thinks it's a hard drive and won't want to write to it. So the way around that is you got to trick it. You got to trick Balin or any sort of like image writing program to think that this thing is a USB. So what you see in front of you is a USB to M2 converter. And I've used this before in the past so I know it works. Um, just got to put a little clip on there. But I'll go back and I'll go back into my windows and I'll show you with Balin Etcher. So got that on there. If you actually had like a Serial ATA, or serial ATA based hard drive like this SSD sanity disk you would seen like one of these little USB converters I'll put links down below where you can get this stuff but um, this is like the older style IDE serial ATA I actually had this for about 10 years um, and you just plug it in, plug in the power and it basically it, th it fools Balin into thinking this thing is a USB like thumb drive so all right, we'll get this going. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this one, but I'm actually gonna do this M2 because I wanna. This is actually good. This is one of my mining rigs, and I don't want to actually boot off the USB stick. I want to boot off a permanent M2 drive, but I want to use that version of Linux. So, all right. All right. So you see in front of you is Balin Etcher. I have the uh, M2 drive plugged in into the uh, USB converter. I'm gonna select the image I want. I'm gonna go to the desktop. It's high OS, and then as you see. Now you see the thing there. That is the actual M2 driver there, 120 gig. All right, this is going to take a while. This is actually uh, USB 2.0, so it's not uh, USB 3, so it's going to take a long time, so I'll be back. It's going to flash it. And the reason why I'm going actually through all this headache is because these bootable USB versions of Linux don't actually have like an installer file. They have no way to partition the hard drive, so... I mean, if you have some advanced Linux skills, and you could probably, uh, and, and the software is actually on the USB uh, version of Linux, you could do formatting and partitioning and copy the image over or the files over that way. But it's it's a lot easier just to do this. So right, I'll be back when this is uh, finished. I got the M2 drive flashed and put back in there, and I'm just trying to make this server as reliable as possible because it's going to be in a remote location, and uh, if this thing locks up. I have to drive over there. It takes a half an hour to get there and back. All right. I'm probably going to put some kind of remote power in there. All right, let's power this thing on here real fast. All right, first boot up. Let's see what happens. There we go. Looking good. Hope you can see that. Booting up. All right, now we're fully booting in Linux, and uh, everything looks like it's working correctly. So now I have the uh, reliability of an SSD drive. And uh, all right, cool. Pretty simple. All right, just need those little adapters. All right, cool.